was hosting an award show, and I had the pleasure, I had the pleasure of introducing the lovely Edina Menzel, and um, I was uh, rattling off her list of many impressive credits, and I got to it, and I said, as El Faba in Wicked, as El Faba, so she gets up to the microphone and she's about to speak and she can't contain herself and she glares at me seething and says, it's Elphaba. <laughs> and I said, oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> And she said, that's okay. I'm still living off all the money I made. Ooh, ah, ah. It gets worse. <laughs> then I had to introduce an actress named Sarah Ramirez. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Ramirez. And she gets up and says, it's Sara. <laughs> and I said, sorry. <laughs> It should come as no surprise to anybody in this room that I take a lot of pills. I'm, I'm completely dependent on medication for, to go to sleep, for one thing. And I see a sleep doctor, so she'll keep upping the prescriptions. And um, once in a while, uh, we sit and she talks to me, and she said, no screens before bed, no television, no computer, no phone. She said, you can read the newspaper, but don't read anything in the newspaper that gets you agitated or upset. So I have to skip the arts and leisure section and go right to the front page. <laughs> ah, f Andrea Martin again, is there no one else? Ooh, 2,000 dead in factory fire in Pakistan. <sighs> <laughs> You guys see the trailer for the newest movie version of Annie? Cameron Diaz is playing Miss Hannigan. <laughs> Miss Hannigan is the greatest character actress role written for the musical theater. If Cameron Diaz is a character actress, do you know what that makes me? <laughs> Deformed. <laughs> ben Brantley, in his review of On the Town, when it played in Pittsfield, said that On the Town is all about sex. Oh, is On the Town about sex? I performed on four gay cruises this year. <laughs> Those are about sex. <laughs> In On the Town, three sailors get off the ship to get laid. On a gay cruise, everybody gets on the ship to get laid. There's an old nautical saying, a captain goes down with his ship. On a gay cruise, everybody goes down on that ship. 2,200 horny gay men getting off, and I mean getting off, at every port we stopped at. The locals had to don goggles for the flying sperm. <laughs> I got on board, I was like Jodie Foster in the Silence of the Lambs. What the hell was that? <laughs> Consequently, there were Purell stations every two feet aboard the ship. A dedicated crew member had to stand at the gangway and forcibly squirt every passenger as they reboard the ship. <laughs> You miss getting squirted by the Purell guy, you're aggressively chased. Come back here, you queen! I see you! Come here! Gotcha! <laughs> squirting by day and squirting by night. Parties, parties. Let's see, there was the white party, which is an orgy of sex, drugs, booze, and bodily fluid. Uh, as opposed to the conquistador party, an orgy of sex, drugs, booze, and bodily fluid, the broke backside mountain party, which was an orgy of sex, drugs, booze, and bodily fluid, as opposed to the tea dance from five to seven every night, which was an orgy of sex, drugs, booze, and bodily fluid. It's kind of like dramatic programming on Showtime or HBO. We'll set it in the medieval era. We'll set it in the boardwalk empire era. We'll set it in the Mad Men era. Really, all it is is people having sex in different costumes. <laughs> 
It's very relaxing being on a cruise, especially when the entire vessel has the volume of the inside of a pimp's car. <laughs> You're making a fool of 